Hello everyone. This is Ratikan Mishra working as a DevOps engineer. This video is about how you can deploy your Ansible automation platform in containerized basis. So I followed uh, the Red Hat uh, documentation uh, which uh, uh, you can find the URL in description. So let's quickly start this uh, video. So as you know, Red Hat Ansible automation platform is an enterprise automation tool that simplifies IT orchestration, configuration management and deploy the application. Ansible has become a leader of many DevOps workflows. If you guys want to know more about Ansible automation platform architecture, then please visit to my video which showing you in top. So before starting this, let's understand what is the benefits of containerizing this Ansible automation platform. So there are various uh, uh, benefits we have. First is installation experience. Traditionally, during installation, we had to define all the nodes like control node, manage nodes, uh, the uh, automation hub node, DB, everything. And uh, we need to give accordingly the access, permission and many more. So however, with this solution, we can do it on a single host. Second, portability. The capability to package Ansible automation platform as a container facilitates seamless deployment across various environments, ensuring consistent behavior and the results. The third is resource efficiency. So optimized resource utilization and quicker deployment of the automation tasks by consuming fewer resources than the traditional nodes. The last two and fourth one, simplified management. So containerization simplifies the management and maintenance of Ansible automation platform, which enabling streamlined update and version control. So guys, these are all the benefits of containerizing the AAP or Ansible automation platform. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can deploy Ansible Automation Platform version 2.4 in containerized environment. But before starting that, you begin to deploy in your node, ensure you must have this following prerequisites. The very first is, you must have a VM, a server which runs with Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Second, the server or the system should have this following resource like storage minimum 30 GB, memory 16 GB RAM, and CPU must be 4 cores. Yes, if you have all these prerequisites, we are well and good to start this demonstration. So, let me show you my system that I do have this all or not. So I logged into my system. So as you can see this guys, I have sure Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.0. Let me quickly check my resource. So you can see, I just have two core of CPU. So I use your two core uh, of CPU. Let's see the memory memory I have. So you can see I have uh, around 4 GB of uh, memory already available. And let's see the disk. 
So you can see, I have almost 37 GB uh, of the disk available for the slash file system. So let's begin the installation. To install guys, we need the bundle. The Ansible Automation Platform bundle should be downloaded in your system. And the bundle you can find from this URL. I'll paste this URL in uh, description. So here's the page opened and here you can see uh, all the bundles for Ansible Automation Platform 2.4. If you go down, you can see other versions, uh, lower versions are there, but we are going to select uh, one of the versions from 2.4. So guys, uh, do not select other one, always uh, select um, the one which is uh, tech preview containerized setup bundle always uh, download the containerized setup bundle the setup bundle is just uh, the, uh, the normal one to how uh, you are doing the traditional Ansible automation platform deployment but this is the uh, one we need for containerization purpose let's download Save this file and as you can see the download is started. It will take uh, some time. So here you can see it's uh, downloaded. So I'm going to extract this uh, tar file. Now you can see in my PWD this uh, is extracted. Where I can see bundle collection, there is inventory, uh, so many are there. So so let's uh, install few dependency packages before uh, installing this um, Ansible Automation Platform. So I do have all these packages already installed in my system. So I'm directly uh, going ahead to edit the inventory next. So instead of editing the inventory, you can uh, edit. Uh, let me show you once the inventory. So here you can see only the specific parameter like uh, the automation controller uh, here you need to write the SQDN and as you know this is connection local Ansible automation hub again this is local automation uh, EDA and uh, the password username few variables you need to pass in this inventory so manually you can edit this file guys with your uh, host name and username and password obviously username is admin only you have to change the password but I was running the sad command to change this so here you can see so wherever in inventory fqdn of your rel host was written I was replacing that with my uh, server host name which is worker.example.com Same way you, know, you can update the password also So here I am setting the password 
to red height so wherever set your own word is written it going to replace with the red height and that is your password all done now you can again verify the inventory wherever the host name required you can say automatically host name is placed and same way the password is also placed here so here you can see there is option uh, parameter if you using the online installer you need to provide the red hat uh, credential but no i'm not uh, bringing the details from the on also you need to add some extra line like bundle installer is true that means we are enabling the bundle installer and here is the path available for my bundle and there's nothing to change here so all good let's uh, start the installation so before starting the installation we need to set some uh, environmental variables that will help us to pass the uh, collection path uh, to the installation now we are good to go so let's run the playbook for starting the installation so here i was just passing the sudo user password and this is my inventory which i modified and this is the collection we'll install here as a playbook and things will configure in an automatic way let's start So here you can see the playbook uh, started running and it will take few minutes to configure your Ansible automation platform. So till then guys, if you need more about this Ansible automation platform, please watch my other videos. You can find from my channel. I'll also paste the link in description. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to like also. So as you can see, guys, my installation is completed. Uh, let's verify. So let me access all these URLs, guys. First, I'm going for Ansible automation controller the port number is 443 make sure it should be HTTPS and here is this controller next I am going to access the private automation hub the port number is 444 and here is my Ansible private automation hub and next I am going to access my ADA server that, a, that uses the port number 445 and this is my ADA event driven Ansible dashboard from where uh, newly they have introduced to run your rule books uh, seamlessly without any downtime one more thing you can observe guys now if you see here there are many images downloaded during the installation time and these are the list there are many uh, containers are also running and these are the list. I have configured the Ansible automation platform in a containerized basis. 
where I am able to access all these dashboards without any uh, uh, configuring individual node. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Do not forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you all.